Hi everyone, it's Fine Girl Dime and today we are going to talk about Gina too. She's an Instagram model and she's been linked to Nick Cannon and Chris Brown. But before we get into this podcast, I need you guys to like this video and be sure to comment. I want to hear from you and make sure you subscribe, okay? So you can join the rest of the fine girl gang. In social media and in television shows, we constantly see people glorifying hookup culture just you know just aimlessly hooking up with other people and everything is so accessible you can just find someone with just a swipe and then you have others who down people for being more conservative with their bodies and to each their own because it's their bodies now what's important is that you get tested regardless whether you pop in a pimp or if that's not your style you still should get tested now i remember in the 90s in the 2000s Cash money records taking over for the nine nine in the two thousand. For TV shows and radio stations, they would have commercials urging people to get tested for HIV, especially when the audiences were predominantly African American. And then you had TLC, who even made a song. I'm sure you guys know it, Waterfalls. They made this, and you can see that they are demonstrating the effects of HIV and how it affects family members as well. I feel there's been a lack of promotion recently for people to get tested for HIV, especially since PrEP was released. PrEP is what people take to just to lower their levels so it will not be transmittable to the person that they are being actually active with. PrEP being released has decreased the stigma a tad and sometimes it's made some people fearless just because they think oh I can take a pill and I'll be fine or they'll take a pill and they'll be fine but this just because there is a pill it doesn't mean you should just be reckless with your body or you know not get tested now you guys remember when the panorama happened and when it first came out people thought it was so strange that you know they're asking have you had it have you been tested for the panorama disease They asked, were you being tested for it? And then, you know, the vaccines came out and people started talking about vaccine status and being so open and honest about whether they've had had COVID or not. And then others were so adamant about, you know, other people getting tested, but they've never even been tested for HIV or other sexually transmitted infections. I just thought it was so strange that people were talking about their vaccine status and being so open and honest about being tested but they had never even been tested for HIV or any other sexually transmitted infections. Now I used to volunteer at a nonprofit, so in this role I would educate others on STIs and one thing I would also tell people when I was presenting was that when you get tested for STIs it doesn't include the test for herpes so you have to specifically ask for that test. But just in general, it's so important that you protect yourself. Many times people, they have um, they have the ex unprotected because, oh, you know, maybe the girls on birth controls. But you have to be aware that there are STIs out there that you have to be cautious of, not only a baby. Now, let's take a look at Gina 2's confession. Hi, TikTok. I'm Gina 2. Um, everyone keeps asking how I got AIDS. I didn't know I had AIDS. Um, I just got sick one day, started fainting, fevers, then I got really weak, and I was going to the doctors, and no one knew what was wrong. Um, they just kept assuming cancer, uh, cervical cancer, lesions, and then I had some doctors saying, no, you're perfectly fine, like, there's nothing wrong with you. Um, but eventually, uh, a doctor was like, did you know you have AIDS? And I'm like, no, because I wasn't getting checked like I should have as much as I was supposed to. Um, So I didn't know. And I lost a lot of weight because I was in the hospital. I don't know what happened. And from losing all that weight, I lost mobility in my legs. So I can't walk or stand right now. But I do do my therapy every day and I do take my pills every day like i'm supposed to i take five pills a day no i don't know who gave it to me so you know i just found out recently i didn't have 
you know, they said if I didn't show up when I did, I would have died because my blood count was so low. You know, I was needing blood bags. They was taking bone samples. They were doing a lot because I was so weak, still so weak. And I think I have wasting syndrome. I'm not anorexic on purpose. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope that answered a bunch of you guys' questions. This will be the last time we stand. I don't know how long we've been here, but yeah, I got here probably about 20 minutes before you. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Push through those legs. Come on, push, 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 push. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Push through those legs. Come on, do it. Push those legs. Uh -huh. Anyway, not bad. Not bad at all. Gina is a girl in her 20s and she's been documenting her health struggles. She recently announced that she was diagnosed with, as you saw, and she currently weighs 65 pounds. And for my UK subscribers, that's 29.5 kilograms. So Gina, she cited all the possibilities of how she could have gotten AIDS that came to her mind at that point. And she mentioned a tattoo needle and she was getting free tattoos and she thinks maybe the tattoo needle may have been dirty. If she had went to a reputable tattoo shop, then, you know, the needles would have been really clean. And then she mentioned, you know, of course, the possibility of catching it from the person. And she doesn't know who she would have gotten it from if she did get it from a person. And she mentioned she was living in New York. She was homeless at the time and she had gotten R worded. So that is a possibility. You know, she could have gotten it from there anywhere because, you know, she never really got tested. So there's no way she would be able to track it back to someone else. And that's another reason why it's important for people to get tested. The Mayo Clinic states, Thanks to these life-saving treatments, most people with HIV in the U.S. today don't develop AIDS. Untreated, however, the HIV typically turns into AIDS in about 8 to 10 years. One thing I love about Gina is that she was very transparent about her diagnosis and her journey. It takes great courage and strength to be able to be so vulnerable and she's she's very realistic about what she's been experiencing and some people think a pill can cure everything and then so they have relations just recklessly but Gina she states for anyone saying that a pill should take care of everything it doesn't I've been through hell and I'm still going through hell so that is something that I just want to know another thing that I noticed that she said is that some doctors said that she was perfectly fine now the reason i want to stress this is because there are so many instances where this happens and this happens particularly if you're a black woman now i am not saying that gina too is black we all can see that she is racially ambiguous but i know that i have some subscribers that are that are black women so what i do want to say is it's imperative that you always get a second opinion and i will share more information on that when i tell a specific story time that comes to mind whatever you're getting done medically i think it's always important for people in general to get a second opinion but specifically if you are a black woman I think you should always get a second opinion because like Gina said if she had not gone to the doctor at that time she could have not been with us anymore especially if she had listened to that doctor that said she was perfectly fine and it's also really important to listen to your body too Gina she knew she was not fine so she continued to seek treatment until they could diagnose what was going on with her body I wish the best to Gina and I hope that she can get to a healthier place. From what I see in the video, it seems like she's having some progression as far as being able to walk again. I know it's definitely, it's a process, so it won't happen immediately. It takes time and it seems like she's very positive about it. Realistic, she's very realistic and she's very positive, which I can really appreciate and it's very refreshing. That is all for this video. Comment below your thoughts on the situation i'd like to hear from you guys bye